Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our latest podcast, blog, whatever you want to call it. We're super excited. We have the CEO of the most exciting micro cap company out there, music tech company, Vinyl Group, the CEO, Josh, and the founder and investor in Vinyl Group, or the founder of uh, Wise Tech, sorry, and investor of Vinyl Group, Mr. Richard White. Gentlemen, how are we all? Great. Good to talk to you, John. Yeah, very well. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. Sorry, I'm a bit excited having you both at the same time. It's been a long time coming. So I'll start off with you, Josh. For those that don't know, please tell us about Vinyl Group, the ticker's VNL. Absolutely. So Vinyl Group is a suite of tools and services that service the music, you know, creator economy. Um, so the, on the fan side, you've got your Rolling Stones and 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 the variety Australia licenses that we've just picked up recently and a few other trade um, publications like Tone Deaf and the Music Network, which are really important uh, for Australia's music industry. And then on the sort of creator side and rights holder side, we've got our platforms like Vampa, which is LinkedIn for musicians effectively, Jaxta, which is IMDB for music effectively. Um, and then finally, we have sort of another e-com fan experience called vinyl.com which is one of the newer uh, services that are, we've just added in the last sort of six months or so uh, rapidly growing i guess destination online for people to be able to collect their favorite records and over time we're going to grow that to include other collectibles uh, digital collectibles uh, merch apparel etc so that's uh in a nutshell that's vinyl group a whole music universe right there gentlemen. exactly now richard over to you how long have you known Josh for? I think it was pre-COVID, right? Yeah, 2017. 2017, right. So, yeah, we've been uh, talking for a long time. Fair enough. Now, Richard, we all know your history with the Wise Tech. We know that you are a music lover, um, amazing when it comes to technology. But what's the real reason why you've invested with Josh and with Vinyl Group in particular? I'll be keen, I'll be keen to hear this. Well, I think it's probably well known. I had a look at the original foundations of what has now become Vinyl Group, uh, Jaxta, and I chose that I thought it was not a sufficiently strong business to invest in back probably three years ago. Um, when Josh joined and brought Vampa to it and his own management abilities, I changed my mind. I thought this was, this was a, a big opportunity. And since Josh has been at the business, his ability to grow that business is manifestly much, much stronger than predecessors. And, and I think because Josh has that founder mentality and he's very growth oriented and actually very strong at making the business better on a continuum, I felt very strongly that this was the right time to invest. Now, back to you, Josh. How are you going to give um, Mr. Richard White and us shareholders a return on Vinyl Group? What's your plans? Look, to Richard's very last point, it's bringing that founder mentality with a sort of, you know, ruthless focus on growth, um, revenue growth. You know, we've signaled for the last six months or so now that getting to profitability is really important to us and we're, you know, we've made great progress in that direction. Um, so I'm going to keep doing what I've always done, but like I said, sort of very much apply that sort of startup founder mentality to, to the project. And finally, Josh, what do sh us shareholders in Vinyl Group have to look forward to over the next six months? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Um, <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I so I don't that, know. That, that. that you're allowed to say, gentlemen. So look, let, let's, let's talk to you. Talk about your strategic view of the future. It's probably the best way to do it. Strategically, because we have a few different companies in our wheelhouse, obviously. Some have... Um, you know, are growing really fast but have low margins and other ones have great margins but are growing a bit slower. I think the next six months I'll work on strategically uh, correcting that, e you know, equilibrium a little or finding an equilibrium there to kind of, um, uh, yeah, manage those manage those two objectives, if that makes sense. I know that's a bit vague, but it's probably about as much as I can say. Well, but maybe there's a way of looking at this. This certainly for me as an investor, when they were talking about buying the brag, that which has the titles Rolling Stone and a number of other important publications, I, I really saw a, a, a toolkit that you now possess, which Correct. is much more powerful 
than what was there for. What, so what attracted me as an investor was not the history or the founder mentality, because I'd already invested by that stage. The additional investment I saw was because there's, there is an amplification of the capacity to, to go to market and do big things. And so you've got, you've now bought those things, you've got that stuff, now you've got to make it work. Right? Now we have to make it work. No pressure, Josh. Uh, we all back you, we all believe you, believe in you. And the fact that you have someone um, with Richard White's credibility and experience um, being such a significant investor is a real credit to you. We have all the faith in you. And uh, gentlemen, thanks for your time. Thank you, John. It's a great pleasure, John. Cheers.